The purpose of this video is to explain the instructions for the research presentation critique. So you're expected to attend a conference um, and attend three workshops or three presentations at that conference and then critique them. So the already approved conferences, because you can't go to a conference unless the faculty approves it, whoever your professor is. Um, and so these three conferences are already approved. Made in Millersville is held on the Millersville campus and it's free. It's generally held in October, uh, excuse me, in April. NASW, National Association of Social Workers, uh, there is a chapter of NASW in every state. Uh, in Pennsylvania, the conference is held in September uh, in the Kalahari Water Resort um, in the Poconos. The Positive Change Conference, conference is held on the Millersville campus. Um, and this conference is about substance use prevention, treatment and recovery, as well as behavioral addictions. Um, it is free for students to go to. Made in Millersville is free for students to go to. And NASW Pennsylvania, Millersville will pay for you to attend and will drive you if you're local to the Pennsylvania area. However, every state has an NASW, so you can go to your local conference. The Positive Change Conference is in November. The NASW Conference is in September. And Made in Millersville is generally in April. So you're expected to attend three presentations and critique it by answering some questions. You also want to make sure that you attend a, confer uh, a workshop that identifies a clear IV and DV. Now you should be able to get this from the title or the summary or the little paragraph summary of the workshop. So an IV is the independent variable or some kind of intervention that intends to solve the problem that is the DV. So the problem might be depression, and we want to solve depression by having people go to a cognitive behavioral therapy, um, individual therapy, something like that, and so that will hopefully solve the problem of DV. Most of the time, the DV is the problem you want to solve. Sometimes it's a positive thing that you want to increase. So say you want to increase someone's health knowledge. Um, so that would still be the DV, but what is the thing that's going to increase the health knowledge? It might be a training or a workshop. And so the way that you fill out this form is you just, you know, put your name, you put the date that you attended the conference, the name of the conference. Um, we want to say maybe the website of the conference, particularly if it's not the three that are already approved, um, the location of the conference, and the time that you arrived and left the conference. And then each of the workshops, you're going to answer these questions here. So what were the names of all the presenters, the name of the actual presentation, maybe like the title of the presentation, the time that it took place, what were the dependent variables, what were the independent variables, what is so you also want to identify the prevalence of the DV. So the prevalence, an example of prevalence would be either um, what percentage of the population does this impact or how frequently does this thing occur. So we could say that 10% of the American population is depressed um, or we could say once every 15 minutes someone dies by suicide because they were so depressed, right? It could be something like that. Um, so we want to describe the population that the DV impacts. Um, but it's not just the population, right? Like everybody could be depressed, but we, we want to describe the specific population that they mention in the presentation. And when you think about your research, you want to think about the specific population that you're interested in. So maybe your particular interest is female veterans who are depressed, right? So that's a unique population. Why is this DV important? Why should we try to solve depression versus every other problem in the world? Why is this important? Why should people care about it? Why should people spend money on trying to fix it? How many articles did they cite in their literature review? What was the support for this research? On average, what were the years of the articles published that they used? So generally, the principle is you should use the absolute most current research. So the majority of your research articles should be published in 2019. Um, because that's all the latest research that's coming out, and millions of articles are published in, um, in a year, just millions. So there's plenty out there. You just have to find them. Uh, the other thing, too, is um, 
you can go back five years, right? So if we go back to 2014, you can find articles from 2014 till now. That's sort of, that's accepted. But you really don't look for articles or find articles that were published before that. So the, the articles before that are generally considered outdated and not as accurate, unless it's an article by a major theorist. So the guy who invented CBT, maybe he wrote an article in the 70s that created cognitive behavioral therapy. And so, okay, we cite that original article, but that's it. We, we don't get data from articles that old because they're not as current. Just imagine um, an iPhone, right? Like you're not gonna go back to the iPhone 4. You don't wanna use that dated device. It's sort of the same thing, right? You want the latest phone. Um, also, you wanna talk about what were the methods used in this research that they did, right? So what is the design? What was the sampling strategy? What were the number of participants? What were the measurement tools that they used? Also, you wanna talk about what were the results or the significance of the finding? Um, why was this study important? What was different about this? Um, the implications. So because of this research, well now what? What does this mean? So what are the implications for four areas? Practice, policy, research, and theory. Then you want to just summarize what was the, the literature about or the purpose of the research, you know, in general, kind of summarize the research in about 75 to 125 words. And you want to do this for all three presentations. So that is the research presentation critique assignment.